motherfuckers wanna get famous. Bust gun. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Nada Master, and on today, we are on Xenoverse 2, but on today, we are going to be showing off the male Saiyan ranked hybrid build. This is the build I run with as of now and currently for the rest of Xenoverse 2, unless I want to change it. This is the build I'll be running with. I'm going to show you guys my stats, my skills, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm ranked currently in the Xenoverse 2 community because I have been grinding off screen. But I want to get a quick video out for you guys. And on today, some people asked about my stats in Xenoverse 2 and how come I'm so consistent at the game. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm rocking with. There's no max basic attacks, no max key blast, supers, strike supers. Only thing we got max is stamina. And the boy Kai is here to show you guys what is up. Look at it. Look at him. Finessing. Finessing. People been judging me by my mail saying... Or, or using only a Earthling, and that is not the case because obviously I have over a fucking thousand matches played on just a Saiyan. Look, look at this shit. 1,545. My one loss ratio was 65 on this character. This is when I was shit at this video game, okay? But alright, uh, we've been catching some wins. The, I am the final Saiyan. Do you see the name? The final Saiyan. Look at look at these stats over to the, to the right. Look at these stats. You can't tell me that shit don't look clean, but alright boys, we gonna show you what I'm rocking with. Well, first, got, I'm going to show you guys the QQ Bang I have. It is negative 5 in health, up 4 in key and stamina, negative 3 in basic attacks, but up 3 in strike supers, up 2 in key blast supers. This is a god tier build. This is a QQ Bang that you want to have for your character. You don't want a QQ Bang like this because you'll be too negative in specific stats and stuff like that. Or a build like this because it's still very negative in certain categories like other, other than that. So you want to aim for QQ Bangs like this. Uh, not this. Not really this one. Uh, hmm... Something like these. Something that's positive in multiple stats has a positive. I don't care if it's even one positive, but if you have only one section that's negative five, like Key Blast Supers, like if you're a strike character, this will be a perfect build for you. Like, I mean, the stamina is very low. I will replace the key with the stamina if, in my honest opinion, with this QQ Bang. But the QQ Bang I'm running with is four in key, four in stamina, three basic attacks negative, three strike supers positive, and two in key blast supers with negative five in health. I kind of do hate that part. My Super Soul is now, it's my turn, this is Android 17 Super Soul, because if I literally get a stamina break on you, it's GG, bros. Like, there is no, there's no coming back from that. I've been working around a whole bit of stuff. I'm gonna make a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, that's a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue Kai video. I'm gonna have to get the Dragon Balls, I've been grinding, so I can change his hair and get his uh, stats back to once. I mean, his hair color back to blue. What the fuck am I saying, bro? But, uh, all right, boys, here are his stats. We got zero in health. Listen to me real quick. Zero in health, 42 in key, 125 in stamina, 78 in basic attack, 70 in strike supers, and 60 in key blast supers. This is a very, very solid hybrid build, guys. If you guys don't know, if you guys haven't read, like, the Saiyan description, the Saiyans, male Saiyans are better at strike supers than the female Saiyans. This is why he has 70 in strike supers. If you don't have, if you don't be a hybrid and be good at like key blast supers and such, put 60 in your key blast supers so you can do a very decent amount of damage. Because a super Kamehameha will still get off a very good amount of damage. If the opponent has less than 50% of health, you will kill that person in a super Kamehameha depending on what transformation. In transformation or not, they 9 out of 10, they will die from just that beam. A final Kamehameha will kill them. Like, the, all these moves are very, uh, very, very good, guys. And 78 basic attacks, there's, uh, there was a cap or something like that. And if you max out your basic attacks with Saiyans, okay, they are the strongest race when it comes to straight up basic attacks. I mean, I'm pretty sure Earthlings are like better because they have like, they just fight faster. In my honest opinion, they are like a little bit better when it comes to combo strings and stuff like that. But Saiyans are the strongest for basic attacks out of every single race. And plus, when your health is low, you get that Zenkai boost. Yes, it's a Zenkai boost for Saiyans. And you get stronger by, I think, about 10%, 10, 15%, like that. So when the closer you are to dying, the stronger you get as a Saiyan. You guys don't know that. You guys should know that if you read Dragon Ball Z or if you like read the manga or something like that. But okay, the way you can change this, change this build. You want 42 in key so you can have that, so you can have six, uh, six bars of key. This does work out very good, so you can pull off like two ultimates back to back, or you can pull off like a sledgehammer, then go down and pull off like a Super Saiyan Rose Kamehameha, because that takes five bars of key, so you can do something like that, or a sledgehammer and a time skip Molotov or something like that. I don't know. That move is pretty shit. Don't use that move. Uh. But then we got, you know, since we play rank, we gotta have max stamina. Always, always, always have max stamina. The more, the lower your stamina is, the more likely it is often to get broken, in my honest opinion. If it's not 125, it has to be 84. Nothing less than that. Anything lower than that, you're getting shit on. Like, because you need stamina 
to make mistakes. That's all stamina is there for is to make more mistakes. But the more mistakes you have than the other person or the more you're able to counter that person, the more you'll win, in all honesty. So we put 78 in base effects. Uh, the soft cap says like six, I think it's 76. It's almost equal to 125 where there's like 400, I think like only does like 200 more points. It's only a couple hundred more points of basic uh, attack damage that you'll be doing with like a heavy combo or something like that. You might be like, oh, that's a lot. I need to max it out. But dude, you can put so many points like everywhere else. So I put 70 in Shrike Supers and 60 in Q-Blast Supers. What I would do originally if I wasn't going for key or wasn't going for those six bars of key, I'll put these four, I'll distribute these 42 points and put 10 more into my Key Blast Supers. So I can be 70 and 70. And then I'll put these basic stacks to 80. And I'll put the remaining points in my health just so you can get that little bit of health. Because if you max out health with a sand, you don't get into the green bar. You don't. But I, I believe if you max out health with an earthling or like a Namekian, for sure. Like if you max out a Namekian's health, you do get into that green bar. You get like a little quarter of health. I even got like a little, I see a fifth of health is green. Something like that. If you have level 99, because I this is a level 99 build, guys. But I'm going to share that with you guys, and I'm show you guys my skill set for ranked. Uh, I have Sledgehammer, because, you know, like, that move is pretty damn good off of Stamina Break. Uh, the Comet Homie Hodge is a signature move of mine. I do like using that move. Final Cannon, this is uh, Trunks' move. This is Trunks' move, yes. And then we have Burst Rush, this is Gohan's move. That's a, that's the counter move. That move is very clutch when you're trying to counter, like, Super Godfist or something like that. This move is very, very fucking clutch, bros. And then we got Victory Rush, this is the Trunks' move. If you hit this move off, off a knockaway, you just, like, snap to him and do that instant... Like the rays and punches, stuff like that. Super Kamehameha is a very, very good signature move. Super Saiyan, uh, the best for strike supers and, and such like that. I honestly don't transform that often online unless I'm in a very, very tough situation. Or like to counter someone that doesn't know like the meta. So like, if you guys don't know, if you perfect block off a of transformation, you can stagger the opponent and you can heavy uh, hit them and it will break their stamina. If you guys don't know that, now you know, the more you know. And uh, yeah, or you can just burst dash them and they can like... To break the stamina. So if I'm not using Super Saiyan, I'm using Potential Unleash, or like Super Vegeta if I'm going for like a Key Blast build. It's like a Key Blast build. Kaioken. I will make a video on the Kaioken uh, when I can change Kai's uh, Kai's hair color to make him uh, resemble that of a Super Saiyan Blue. We do a Super Saiyan Blue Time Suni Kaioken rank build, and actually, actually we're gonna make that build right now for you guys. This is what I would rock with. On a Kaioken times 20 build, or just Kaioken rank build. These are all my builds. This is the God Destruction build. You guys haven't seen that video. Link will be in the description. Uh, this is the more of Ultra Instinct build or the Ultra build. This is a build I have for him. And then we got Super Saiyan 4, obviously. Sorry, boys. Let me see. We're just gonna put the skills off right now. So you want Kaioken Assault, Kaioken Kamehameha. Alright, boys. Rise to action, and then we put maximum charge. You guys are like, dude, this fucking rank build, what are you doing? If you have maximum charge and rise to action, you can use maximum charge and use rise to action and get that stamina back so you don't break your own stamina using the Kaioken. The more you know, like I said. Uh, Alright. Then we will go for the Super Kamehameha and the times 20 Kamehameha. Uh, because Super Kamehameha is... Like, like I said, that signature move is very, very fucking good. This is like one of the best three bar ultimates in the game. Besides, like, Divine Wrath Purification, this is honestly one of the best three bar ultimates in the game. And Meteor Rush. I mean, Meteor Burst. That move is fucking OP. But we talking about Key Blast, like, hit you in the face type of shit. And then we're gonna put on Kaioken, obviously. And I'll roll Evasive. Mm. Okay, you do need one, in my honest opinion. So. Kaioken, let's see. We're just gonna put on instant rise because you snap right out of the uh, whatever move they're doing and stuff like that. They won't keep the Kaioken Assault on. Or should we. No, Kaioken Assault has like a frame or two in it that you can't get out of it. Um, yeah, because if they, if you have no stamina, you go for Kaioken Assault, someone else has, and they snap behind you and break your shit, you're fucked. So, uh. Actually, not gonna do that. We're not gonna do it. Put on Meteor Crash because you can't get that Kaioken Rush and they will feel that power. Hashtag C reacts. You guys don't know who he is. He's fucking dope ass YouTuber. It's fucking amazing, bro. Uh, all right, QQ bangs. We're just gonna throw something on. I guess we're throwing the QQ bang. I've been rocking. Actually, no. You want a QQ bang with a bunch of stamina. So let's see. That's not a good QQ bang. Hmm. I got a bunch of my other characters, so that's why you don't really see. Uh, base stacks are super low though. We don't want that. We don't want that. Mm, I guess we're gonna go use this one because I don't play without limitations But if I'm playing like against like bots or something like that in the parallel course, this would be pretty good. I guess 
And then there's a Super Soul in the game. I made a video on this a while ago. Uh, I've been saving this Kaioken, this Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, uh, Super Soul. And this allows you to go Kaioken times 1 and Kaioken times 3 and not lose any stamina. But once you go Kaioken times 20, your stamina drops like his fucking health when you go Kaioken times 10 in rank. Alright, boys. But that is going to sum it up for this video. I hope you all have enjoyed it. It's been my pleasure as the homie Nida Master. I'm in a party with a bunch of people. They are playing Overwatch. Xbox had a new update. It's very fucking weird. I don't know what's going on. But it's being me and the homie Kai. I hope you all have enjoyed and found this video very informative. I'm going to put up my stats for you guys right now. You can pause the video and look at them for a second. Put them up for a second. A few seconds. Look at all of them. Take it in. Take it in. It's pretty fucking dope. Alright boys, pause the video if you guys didn't see it, but it's be me and the homie Kai, and we will see you guys later. Peace out everybody. It's been a long time, and this here's been a long round, so I gotta go with logic. The one nobody would vouch for, how's that shit for an outro?